How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Audacious Ram with Burning Rye. Oh, man, it's so good to be back in front of the, the camera, you know, during the evening when everybody's nice and relaxed. We're all showered. We're cool, vibing ourselves. Gonna get in a blanket, get a little weird. Um, and speaking of weird, we're gonna be talking about a movie that I, you know, I wasn't excited to see it. And Burn, I'm sure as hell was not either. I don't think he really wanted to see this. He kind of, I kind of dragged him into it or talked him into it. Um, it's from a, from an, a very controversial name in film. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. We are talking about the latest, you know, fantasy horror movie, which is the watchers directed by M M night Shyamalan's daughter. Uh, let me look that up real quick. I apologize for not having my stuff ready. Um, Ishana Shyamalan. Thank you. Ishana Shyamalan. Uh, this is her first film. And, yeah, it definitely shows, and I don't mean to be a dick because I'm not, I'm not a filmmaker by any means. I just watch them, I enjoy them, I know what I like, but um, sometimes you just gotta know, hey, you messed up. It's your first movie, but at least you could, she could say she made a movie, and that's more than what any of us really did. But, anyways, this is a non-spoiler review, so um, if you do enjoy it, please give us a thumbs up and show your love for it. If, um, also, don't forget to ring the bell for uh, notifications, and of course, subscribe. We do appreciate you all, you know, growing the ranting nation, as you will. Because let's just all blabber on about movies, why don't we? Um, anyways, so this one takes place in the beautiful islands of Ireland uh, with uh, Dakota Fanning as the main character, uh, Mina. And she is tasked to take this very um, rare parrot bird, essentially, uh, to another part of Ireland just for like a like a zoo or some sort of um, some sort of animal sanctuary and stuff like that. But uh, she gets stranded in the middle of these woods that have some sort of history behind them that people who venture into them never get out. And that's where she comes across these people who are trapped in the forest, but every night have to present themselves in front of this giant um, two, what's it? Two way mirror. Is that what it is? Or what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Or yeah. Yeah. Like a two way mirror basically. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's where they are presenting themselves for the watchers as some sort of weird, um, kind of like a zoo, if anything. They're the human zoo in this one. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say without spoiling it. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. As soon as I saw the trailers, at least the main one, the teaser one, and then a recent one where it shows Dakota Fanning driving, I was able to figure it out right away. I even told Burn a few weeks ago. I'm like, if, this, if that's what it is, I'm going to be like, wow. But... Again, I can't spoil it. Bert, what did you think of this lovely film? I know, I know you loved it, and it's okay to share with the world that you did. <laughs> well, first let me say some nice things about it. You know, I think um, the the concept of an, in and of itself is is really interesting concept, and I think it's pretty cool. You know, like weaving in some of what I'm assuming is Irish folklore into it. Um, again, not to get too like too deep into that, but to like weave that with sort of like this single location horror movie is is always a fun idea in in that sense, where you know you have these group of characters stuck in one place in this sort of like harrowing situation. It makes for really good drama, and it makes for really good horror. I think, and uh, I mean, I think the movie is shot really well i mean I, it was like immediately i thought oh okay this looks really good and a lot of the uh, um of you know the the set it looks pretty like pretty great i think you know the location that they got is really cool the you know the set design is good and um that's about as much as i could say about the things that i enjoyed about this movie <laughs> unfortunately because again you know although i was not excited for this movie um i thought you know the concept was interesting in of itself and i was intrigued to say the least so i thought you know to see how this plays out because what seems like with a lot of horror movies lately it's like okay the concept is interesting but is it enough to sort of you know fill out the entire length of a movie i think some of the movies we've gotten lately would have lended themselves better to being like short films or something like that and and this is kind of one of those cases because as the movie progressed I was less and less interested and I found myself bored at times at this movie and and that kind of sucks because you know initially there is some pretty good tension there's intrigue there's mystery but it seems like the movie doesn't really know what to do with all that you know once we get into the location that we're in and we get these characters together the movie doesn't really give them anything interesting to do and that's kind of unfortunate because movies like these are very they or they should be very character driven and they should be you know these different people and their dynamics 
sort of clashing amidst trying to survive this crazy situation. And we didn't really get any of that. You know, a lot of the characters are kind of blank slates almost. We don't really get to learn too much about them. Um, they aren't really interesting as characters. They don't really feel any sort of archetype they're just kind of there and that's really unfortunate so i think where the movie really lets itself down is is in the script i think you know it really doesn't provide much uh, intrigue and doesn't really like give us anything where you know these characters are like going at each other or we're we really learning too much about them um or really gives them really interesting dialogue i think a lot of the dialogue in this movie is it's all exposition <laughs> about, you know, sort of the, the things that are going on. And again, it's not really interesting stuff because, you know, we're not really unraveling the mystery as we go with them. We're just kind of talking at each other and then, you know, things happen in the background. And yeah, it was, it was a little bit let down by this one. Yeah, I, I agree with that the the visual feel for this movie, like the tone and um, the setting are really well done. I think this would have been a really neat series or something to explore if they wanted to do it that way. Um, I know, I kind of remember it was based on a book. I could be wrong. So I think this is one of those movies, especially for a new director like, um, like I'm not sure I'm Alan's daughter, that it, it sounds good on paper and it looks good probably on the screenplay wise, but that execution and budget really, they really show their faults in this movie and that's that's a bummer to say not that i wanted it to be bad i just i was like yeah you could have definitely used it somewhere else and stuff like that um i do agree with you the characters were all pretty flat there really wasn't anything special about them aside from you know physicality like what they look like and what they dress like and even then they were pretty all pretty fairly similar so um yeah with all that being said uh this is going to be a two out of five for me just because um yeah, while it looks good, it's really just it's like it's kind of a dumpster fire, unfortunately. Do I reckon them recommend this movie? Not really, no. Um, I mean, unless you're really into fantasy and stuff like that, um, maybe you may like it. Even then, there's not a whole lot of that in there. Like Burns said, this movie didn't know where to go. Is it gonna be fantasy horror? Is this like a mystery? No one, they didn't really know what to do with it. No, nothing really to set on, and they could have done a lot better. So. Yeah, uh, two out of five, um, and that's a bummer. It, it really is, because, you know, you, you see the name Shyamalan, and you're expecting, you know, at least, if if not, you know, the, something great, something at least, like, interesting and twisted, where you're like, okay, like, kind of, like, thrown off by the whole thing. Even M. Night's, you know, worst movies uh, have a lot of, like, to take away from, because, you know, he takes pretty big swings, and they don't always land. In this case, you know, with uh, Ishana Shyamala, I think, you know, her big swings are on the technical fronts. You know, we, we again, you, like you mentioned, they were shot really well. Uh, the tone and the vibe of it, you know, there's, it gives a very cool, like, creep factor to the movie, at least in, in early on. And, you know, that paired with, like, the sound design and, you know, of, of the creatures, you know, that we hear. Of, you know, we don't really get to see a lot of, you know, what uh, the monsters in this, you know, we just get to hear them and stuff. And I thought they did a really Really well building the soundscape of it also again early on it really added to the tension of the movie but unfortunately it didn't really build off of that in any sort of interesting way um so for me you know this one's going to be a uh <sighs> I hate to do it, but I think this one for me is going to be a one out of five. You know, I think it outside of, you know, a lot of the technical aspects of it, there really is nothing to say about this movie. I, again, like you, I can't really recommend it to anyone. It's, you know, it's not all that scary. Um, if you want to look at some really cool imagery, I would say, I guess, check this one out. But I wouldn't say, you know, go to the theater to, to see it. You know, it could be one of those, you know, wait for uh, streaming type of things. So, yeah, that is. It's going to be that to movie to get top 10 on Netflix's chart. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, Barry Mail might, you know, could, like find some life on the streaming end. But in terms of the theater experience, yeah, this one is, uh, it's going to be a no-go for me. I just hate seeing those article, those clickbait articles that, oh, this movie that did horrible in theaters is now a big hit on streaming. It's like, how do you know? How do we know? It's just top 10. That doesn't mean shit to me. Like, that can mean anything. That's but, right. We, we don't know the numbers from these streaming services. Like, are they real? Are they not? Who's to say? I mean, it could all just be part of an algorithm. I don't, I don't know. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. Uh, for those of you who did happen to catch this movie and not Bad Boys, um, you know, Ride or Die, let us know what you thought. That review is still up as well as our review for Furiosa if you're near a theater that is still playing it because I guess it did get pulled out of a lot of theaters. 
um, recently, and that sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, we'd love to get your thoughts on the, on this movie, and uh, what else are you guys looking forward to in June? Again, we got some great uh, shows coming out this month, like House of the Dragons coming back, The Boys is coming back, The Bear. Um, but we'd love to get your thoughts on what's coming up. And so until next time, everyone, just stay bodacious and uh, keep on ranting for us. If you're looking for a horror movie in the woods, go watch In a Violent Nature. <laughs> You'll be much more entertained than this one. But yeah, everybody, uh, be good, be safe, and as always, we'll catch y'all on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>